There are two types of tables in Teradata, set tables and multi-set tables. A set table cannot have a duplicate row, but a multi-set table can. Here we are creating a set table, and if you're in Teradata mode and you don't specify if it's a set or multi-set, it is usually a set table. If you're in ANSI mode in Teradata and you don't specify, the default there is multi-set. But here we've created a set table and given it a primary index of employee number. If we have any rows that are duplicate across all of the columns, an exact duplicate match, it kicks out the second row coming in every time. Here is a multi-set table in Teradata. And again, we have a primary index of employee number. Now with a multi-set table, I could have duplicate rows. You see, let's look at a set versus a multi-set. The great thing about a set table is you can't get duplicate rows. If someone tries to do the same ETL load twice with the same data, it kicks it out and says, goodness, you almost made a mistake there. But it has to do a duplicate row check quite often and this can slow things down on any type of insert, update, or delete in a set table. Multi-set never does a duplicate row check because you can have duplicate rows. So it actually processes faster but occasionally somebody loads something twice and now we've got some duplication in there and that can be an issue. Here you can see we have a set table but we also have a unique primary index. The great thing about any unique index on a set table is there's no duplicate row check because we can't even have a duplicate employee number because it's a unique primary index, so it would be impossible to have a duplicate row. This is a great technique when dealing with a set table if you want to avoid the duplicate row check. Here we have another set table. We just have a primary index on employee, so it is a non-unique primary index. But notice down here, the last very line in blue, unique index on Social Security. That's a unique secondary index, and this is another technique on a set table that it will no longer need to do the duplicate row check. Here I've created a table and I've got a unique primary index for my primary index, an OOPI. It's always a single AMP operation, single row retrieve. It's the fastest query known to mankind. And I've also implemented a unique secondary index on Social Security. So I have a unique primary index, an OOPI, a unique secondary index, an OOSI, that unique secondary index of Social Security. When I queried that in the WHERE clause, it's a two amp operation. So both will be lightning speed access. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.